guys welcome back to the land of too much blabbering my channel today's video is our last music and makeup for thank you next i really hope you guys enjoyed the series and you know stuck with me through the months of not filming and not editing the things that i actually had filmed um but yeah today is imagine and i really like the look I think it's really pretty. I'm looking in the mirror here and I, I really like it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys kind of zoomed out a little bit farther than I normally do. <sighs> my camera's not really wanting to focus lately. I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and buy a new one. Um, but I'm not ready to do that yet. But uh, I already did prime my eyes if you're wondering like, why it looks primed is because it already is primed um yeah i used the juvie's place i prep i prime i primer in the shade one user advice eight like the smallest amount you can get out of this goes a long way like i got a super tiny amount and i had more than enough to do both eyes and i think this eye has too much on like it, it's it goes a long way <laughs> um I don't really know what I think about it yet. I mean, so far, colors seem to be going okay on it. This is the first time I've ever used it, so I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but I will definitely keep you guys updated. This is a newer product, I believe, from Juvia's Place. I've never seen it before. Um, so yeah, that is what I used for my primer today. The eyeshadow palette I'm using today is one that I haven't used in a while on my channel. It's from one of my favorite brands, and I don't know why I haven't used it. It's a beautiful palette. I really do enjoy it. I just haven't used it in a long time. This palette was limited edition. It has been discontinued, but you can definitely grab any other green palettes. I pretty much only use greens with the exception of a couple colors I'm probably gonna use later. Um, or you can just grab singles, but this is the Lil Rock Treasure in the Stars Pirates of the Caribbean palette. And in case you haven't seen it, it does look like this um it is stunning i did get some black shadow over here but it is beautiful i know a lot of people had mixed feelings about this when it launched and i really like it now i've had this going on i think this upcoming year will be my fifth year having this so i've had it quite a while the palette is still good it still smells fine if you take care of your makeup it can last a really long time and powders can last really long um anyway but if you are using older products just make sure you're swatching things they still look okay they smell fine um things like that and if you are skeptical just you know recycle it toss it but um this is what we're using today so i'm first going to take the shade bones which is this shade right here it's just a beautiful light tan transition shade and because i did have hand surgery i can't hold anything with my left hand i'm obviously right handed so i can't um hold my mirrors so i'm using a color pop palette because it's lighter um to hold so if you see like bright yellow that's why it's, i'm just using the mirror out of it previous place eye primer did set pretty quickly as well so i would recommend um blending it out pretty fast and it has been a few minutes since i've primed this eye obviously so i'm hoping that things still apply okay on top juvie's place makes amazing eyeshadows one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas and i really enjoy using their stuff i have a highlighter from them that i also i like um yeah it's just like the eyeshadow primer i was not expecting it to be as liquidy as it is i even shook it up because it feels kind of liquidy in the tube and it's still very very liquidy so yeah and i just bought that like i think last week or something no it was a week before because i bought it the week before hand surgery but i haven't had it that long and yeah we're just gonna blend this shade out bones is one of the shades in this palette that i have a huge dent on like a huge dent it's one of my favorite transitions transition shades in my entire collection it's just beautiful it looks so good on my skin tone every single shadow i've ever paired with it it looks beautiful so i'm just gonna blend that out like that now i'm gonna take this i've never heard of this brand um i got it from one of my friends and she had never used it and i actually took the peel off of it today but this is the hot mess rockins cosmetics green glitter gel eye pen 
like the name suggested is green shade is green when I used it on this side it was very very creamy it blended out amazing and I actually do have two more shades I think yeah so I have a blue and a black and I'm really intrigued I did swatch the blue and the black but the green I actually like went in and used it and it it looked amazing. I've never heard of this brand, but when I used it today, I liked them. So maybe I'll use them later. But I'm going to take this and like put it on basically all over my lid as like a base. And then I'm going to take a denser blending brush and just blend it out into the crease. That's the shadow in my crease to darken everything up. It's not another thing. It's just like this cream thing and it looked amazing. But I'm going to do that and yeah, I'm going to put it on and then immediately blend it out just because I don't want it to dry in place. I don't know if it will. So I'm kind of trying to avoid that. So that is what we are going to do real quick. That's why I kind of like you left you guys zoomed out too because I needed to do this. But look how pigmented. I'm literally just like stamping this on. I'm, I'm not even actually putting any type of pressure. But look how stunning that is. It's like a dark emerald. It's so pretty. It's really, really pretty. It'd be nice, just like a one shadow thing. I really like that so far. Put that over there. And then we'll take that brush and just start blending. You know, just start. This might take a little while. It didn't take too long to blend, but you know. Might take a little while. There is glitter in here, but when you start blending, it all pretty much goes away and you can't really see it through the shadows anyway. I just wanted to use this. I'd never used it before and I am wearing green today, even though it's not really the same shade of green. It's This is a dark green and the shadows I'm using are a little bit lighter. It still made a really nice base for the green to stick to, which I really liked. You know, that was kind of like the whole purpose of it. I wanted it to give my shadow something to stick to other than my primer and this is the same color essentially of what i was going to be using so it just kind of evened out i'm going to go back into the pirate's palette i'm going to take the shade sea haze which is this one right here i'm going to pack that on the front half of my eye I'm gonna take a really dense blending brush. I'm gonna take the shade right next to that, which is Menace, which is this one right there. I'm gonna put that on the outer edge. I didn't really layer this too much, as you can see here. It's still there, but it's not layered too much. Um, you definitely could go a little bit heavier if you want, but I didn't. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of this on this like really dense round brush this is from bh cosmetics i have no idea what type of brush this is i think it came from like a rose gold collection or something and we're just gonna stamp it out here it's like a dark green and it almost it's like a dark greeny brown it's got like a brown tint to it but in the pan it almost looks like a light black but it's green it's it's a really pretty color it is the deepest color in the palette i've used it quite a bit to just deepen up the outer corner like i'm doing here and I really, really like it. It's really pretty. All right, and then we're gonna go back into C Haze. And then we're gonna go back into Bones and just blend everything together. I have so much shit on my desk right now. It's unreal. I'm going to take this first. I have a new primer here um, and I don't know what I think of it. So I'm gonna take this. This is like a to moisturize slash prime. This is the Winky Lux Dream Jelly Hydrator. I know I talk about this a lot and I use it a lot on my channel, but that's because it's fantastic. If you have dry skin, you absolutely need this in your life. And it's incredible. Just take my word for it. Like, look at this. It's like perfect. It's like a gel consistency. For some reason, gel products just work really well on my skin, my dry 
super dry, annoyingly dry skin. Um, and these work so well. And I do have green like pigment on my fingers. So I'm hoping that like left over. So I'm hoping that it doesn't um, transfer. That would be very bad. <laughs> I do love this product. Like I said, if you have dry skin, you absolutely need to try it. I'm going to film possibly later today uh current beauty favorites in all categories because i haven't filmed a favorites video in a while and i have a bunch of just like products i've been using and things like that that i've really really been liking lately and i want to share them with you guys and i also have some um makeup removers and skincare items that i've been loving lately as well that i think you guys would really enjoy also, can we talk about the pigtails? So, if you watched my needy video, my first thank you next video, I wore really high pigtails like this. And I said, like, it's not really my thing. I decided because today is the last day or the last video for thank you next, I would wear pigtails again. Just to give it another shot because I feel like everybody looks so cute in them. And I think I did a better job this time, but they're definitely still not very cute on me. And my roots have grown out, like, a ton. Um, so I didn't like smooth it back all the way and I used like this like hairspray jelly type thing that I got in a boxy charm. It's a hairspray but it's like thick. Um, it's not really like a gel but it's a really thick hairspray is what I'm trying to say and it, I don't I don't really love it. So um, yeah I'm gonna definitely declutter that because I don't really love it and every time I use it it makes my hair look like super dirty and I mean, my hair isn't very clean right now anyway but it um definitely is not this dirty but you know that's where we are at right now so the prime i'm going to use today is new to me i'm actually going to mix two um they're both technically new but this one i've never used before this is the la girl pro prep hd high definition smoothing face primer i haven't tried a whole lot of la girl stuff i did try their um pro concealer that was like super popular a few years ago I didn't love it. I feel like I was the only person that didn't really care for it. I do have though a highlighter from them, which is right here that I absolutely love. It's the strobe white in the shade 120 Watt. If you were curious, it's like white. So if you're fair like me, it's beautiful. Um, I think that's like the only other LA girl thing I have. Like I, I haven't really tried a whole lot from the brand, but this is the smoothing face primer. I don't really need a whole lot of smoothing face primers but i decided to give it a shot Ooh, it's thick it has the same consistency of the smashbox one which i did have i did use it up um there was nothing there's nothing wrong with the smashbox one i just have the elf one that is literally this exact same thing uh right here what's it called the mineral infused face primer this thing is literally the exact same as the smashbox one in my opinion on my skin anyway and it's essentially the same thing as this as well um i do love the elf one this is like my third tube of this i absolutely love it around my nose it just smooths everything out and this foundation goes on beautifully over top of this so i guess technically i really don't need two primers that are basically the same thing uh, and this LA Girl one is the exact same thing, but I'll keep it for now. I'll keep trying it. Maybe I'll like it better than the e.l.f. one. But the e.l.f. one has been my ride or die for many years, so it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to top the e.l.f. one. I've talked about it before on my channel, and I really do like it. Where did my foundation go? So the primer, 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 primer. The other primer I'm going to use is one that I used uh, in the video I filmed the day before yesterday. And... I was a really big fan of it and I really want to try it again and I want my face to be a little bit more luminous. So this is the Wet n Wild Spongebob um, Collab BFF Hydrating and Brightening Primer Mist. I was a real big fan of this the other day and I absolutely love like the color. Like I know that there is like setting sprays out there that have this effect but I've never seen a primer with that specific color and I really liked it. I like the scent of it. It does separate like the little glitter particles do settle on the bottom so you it says shake it but you have to shake it really well and i'm gonna i'm gonna use this today also i don't know how these primers are gonna mix together but i'm hoping that it works out okay because i've already done my eyeshadow so let's let's all hope for the best here oh that smell it smells so good it feels so 
nice like it does like kind of go everywhere though like it's just flying around and I think there's some on the lens is there some on the lens maybe not I can't really tell it does kind of go everywhere um but the mist is really nice it feels really nice it definitely isn't like super like refreshing if that makes sense it still feels good but it's not as refreshing as um this little guy from the body shop the body shop cocoa calming face mist this is like really refreshing really nice throughout the day but this is a really nice primer i was a really big fan of this so that is why i wanted to use it again because i really liked it foundation is one i also haven't used in a while this is the milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation in the shade zero zero light natural this used to be my holy grail foundation i wore this to both of my proms it was like the best thing ever and i'm going to use that today with the milani conceal and perfect Longwear concealer as well this is in the shade 100 pure ivory i have had both of these for a while but i've never actually used them together which doesn't make sense because they are they're meant to be used together um so i'm finally going to use them together today and see what i think of it so let's hope for the best because i'm very nervous again i can't pump product out in the back of my hand like i normally do so i just have to pump it to my face so let's again hope that this goes okay because i don't ever just straight apply it to my face um okay so my pump's broken so i guess we'll just take a little off this is a really thick foundation by the way like it's it's thick so we'll just do like like that maybe that's probably not enough but we'll just get started here i'm using my patrick sponge again today because i really liked it in my um review so i did re i just dropped that all down myself i love that for me uh, i did review the entire spongebob wet and wild collection it should be up already if it is i will leave it um down in the description box but i did film the entire collection review and i want to share with you guys something really exciting if you follow me on twitter you already know but i won the wet and wild wet and wild the color pop hello kitty um tropical giveaway on twitter and obviously if you follow me on twitter you already know because i retweeted it and i like tweeted color pop and stuff but i'm so excited i'm definitely going to do a review video over the entire collection when i receive that in the mail i don't know when that will be but your girl is excited i was so excited when i got that um email from color pop or the the message from color pop uh the tweet from color pop oh my gosh my brain um I'm over the moon. I was so excited. I've never won anything like that before. And so to win was like, I was really excited. It also was just really nice because obviously I haven't had the best last couple weeks. So that just kind of, I don't know, it brightened my mood a lot. It really, really made me happy. So thanks ColourPop. I'm so excited to get it in the mail. Also, Jake Miller's new album came out yesterday, Silver Running 2, and um, obviously I love it, but it is so good, okay? Like, so good. We're going to talk about this while I'm blending out this foundation, okay? This foundation, you have to take your time blending out, so find a topic to chat about, but the Silver Lining 2 is so good. My favorite Jake album is still Silver Lining, like, I don't think anything will ever top that for me, but... Silver Lining 2 is so good. I've been listening to it nonstop. Literally, I was listening to it when I was doing this eye off camera. Um, I am obsessed. So I can't decide if Click is my favorite new song or if Tangerine is my favorite new song. I really like Click, but I also really like Tangerine. And then I Hope I Die First, which isn't like a new new song, but that's like one of my favorites. And then Black Cloud. Is really good too so 
if I had to pick the top four right off the top of my head, that's probably it. Uh, truthfully, the album is a masterpiece. Like, it's so good. So good. I'm so excited for my concert in October, which, of course, I'll try to vlog. I'm meeting him again, which I love. I'm actually going to have him write out my tattoo. If you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you also know that. But, yeah, I'm going to have him write out my tattoo, which I am so excited about. I'm so excited about it. Oh, okay. So that foundation is beautiful. It's all blended out. It definitely shows off a little bit of texture. So if you have uh, extremely textured skin, either use like a major smoothing primer or skip over this foundation entirely. Um, it's not too bad. Like I have texture and you can kind of see it. Um, all my foundations basically showed a little bit of texture. I do like that they um, came out with lighter shades because I know that the shade range was really terrible when it first came out and it did oxidize pretty badly. I can't remember if this one, because this is a new one, oxidizes or not, but I did blend it down my neck and let's hope that it doesn't oxidize because I don't know if I blended it uh, very well. So, guess we will see, but I still do like that foundation. And if you have dry skin like me, I do recommend using a really good moisturizer underneath and using a uh, moisturizing dewy primer like I did. My nose is itchy. Um, just to keep your skin from looking super dry. So the concealer now is a concealer that I haven't really been in love with. Like it's all right, but it's definitely not my favorite. So that's what I'm gonna use today. I, I've never tried it with the foundation, so I thought I'd give it a chance. I can't get it open. There we go. I can't twist anything with my left hand and I had this on too tight, so I had to bite the lid, which I don't like, but whatever. Um, yeah, so we're just going to apply this guy. And let's do some out here. Cause let's just let's just go all in. Let's do that. And let's not put that lid on so tight because I couldn't get it off last time. I feel like that concealer definitely dried really, really fast. So uh, be careful and it kind of set just in that short period of time before I started blending it in certain spots and you can kind of see it. So just keep that in mind. Um, and my cheeks are definitely very red. You can still see them, but that's okay. I didn't really layer it. I didn't really want to layer that foundation, um, but you definitely could if you wanted to. It's medium to full coverage and yeah, it's all right. Let me get my powder sponge out here. So I'm going to take this guy. I don't even know anymore. Um, I think I'm done with my Patrick sponge. So I'm actually going to put him away in his little pineapple. I love this. It's so cute. It's just I love it. So I'm going to take the Laura Mercier uh, Mineral Finishing Powder in the shade 1. I've only used this once and I want to give it another shot today. So that's what we're using to set that concealer. I can't remember if I like this or not. I know I liked it, but I can't remember exactly what I thought of it. So we're going to take this on my Real Techniques Powder Sponge which y'all know is like my thing currently. I don't know what it is. I just really like this powder sponge from Real Techniques. Like it's just so good. So I'm going to contour using the Wet n Wild contouring palette in Dolce de Leche. And I'm going to take the darker side, which is that one. And I didn't get a chance in my SpongeBob video to try out this brush. So I'm going to contour with it today for the first time. And hopefully it doesn't let me down. It says that it's really good for contouring. So I'm, I'm hoping that it's, that is correct. Um, it's really cute. Like, look at it. It's really cute. I love it. It's so cute. And it's really, really soft too. Oh, that's a lot of powder come up. guys it's not blending <laughs> um we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna use a different brush to blend because that brush will place product but it doesn't really blend it very well and the bristles aren't like stiff enough like these are loose bristles but those are really loose so i don't know if the camera picked up but when i put it on it's just like a, a powder um if you like a really dramatic contour that might be for you i feel like it looks like i stuck my cheek in mud <laughs> so that's not cute 
kind of a disappointed. I'm disappointed in the brushes and the collection. I feel like they could have done without brushes and maybe done something else, like a cute lipstick or um, maybe a blush or something. Like I feel like the brushes were kind of both duds for me. Um, I'm gonna, truthfully, I don't know how else I would use this. Like this is a contouring brush, but it doesn't blend. Like it places product really well but it doesn't blend it out so so we're just gonna be very very contoured today because like I'm gonna try on this side I'm not gonna pick up as much and I'm even gonna like smack it off on my arm and try it again like look it places it really nice like it, it basically contours for you but then when you're trying to blend it just like Oh no, it doesn't really do anything. Maybe I need to tilt it and like use the end of it. That's pretty. See that is that is much better than that. Like this, what is this? Like maybe I can blend it up. I don't think so. So we're gonna take a brush and take just with a little bit of the white or the lighter side and just like blend some of that out this is a very contour cheekbone it's a very contour cheekbone that's just what it is and then the other side does not match at all so i'm gonna take a brush and just very lightly try to get it to match without being too dramatic like this side but i want it to look a little bit more like like i meant to do that even though i, I really ha did not um yeah so i don't really like the brushes in the wet n wild collection which is really sad they're both really cute but they're not really my thing don't really like them I didn't pick out a bronzer which because we're so heavily contoured i want like a really light bronzer so I'm gonna take the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer, which looks like this. This is a really light bronzer that I absolutely love, and I'm gonna take that to bronze today. Since we are so heavily contoured, I don't want like a really intense bronzer. Like I'm not gonna bring it down my cheek like I normally do. I'm just gonna, you know, bronze my temples down into my contour and then my forehead my nose, my neck, and my jaw, just to give my face some more shape and dimension because obviously my forehead is all still the same color, which is not how your face looks. You have color in your face. I like how we take the color out of our face with foundation and then we use all these other products to put it back in the exact spot and the exact color that we want it. You know, that's the best part. And... I love this bronzer. I need to get more of the butter line. Like, it's so good. But, like, truthfully, nothing else really caught my attention, like, when I'm in stores. I see some stuff online that's really pretty, but I've never placed an order through Physicians Formula's website, so maybe I'll do that. I need to replace this bronzer as well because I broke the package so the lid doesn't snap shut all the way, which is, like, super nitpicky, but it bothers me. <laughs> Alrighty blush i'm gonna take the anastasia beverly hills blush trio in the shade pink passion and i'm going to take the shade rose which is the one on the end here and i'm gonna put that on me cheeks i really really like the anastasia blushes i love them i love them i love them i love them they're so good and they are really pigmented but they blend out so beautifully like you don't really have to be super afraid of them which I really like I was actually going to use a ColourPop blush today but I decided to use this one because it's matte and the ColourPop one has a little bit of shimmer in it and I know I said my face was too matte but you know I wanted to use this plus I hadn't used this particular palette before highlighter I'm going to take the Laura Mercier matte radiance baked powder in the shade highlight 01 I've been obsessing over this. I've only used it a few times, but you know, when you use a product and you can just tell it's going to be a favorite, that's how this product is. It's so good. It's so good. Like, just trust me, okay? Like, 
I didn't think I would like it, but I love it. Eyebrows, I'm gonna keep trying out this. This is the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt uh, Mascara Gel in the shade 257. Uh, medium brown. I've been testing this out now for a little bit. I keep using it in videos because I really just don't know how I feel about it. I feel like the color is really pretty, but like, I don't know. The wand kind of makes it hard to use as well. Like, it doesn't apply product evenly at all, which is really annoying. And the wand is all different shapes, so like I don't, I don't quite understand. Okay, so we're gonna do the lower lash line now, and we're gonna take Menace, which is that dark greeny color that we have in the outer edge of our eye. Put that on the lower lash line. Oh no! We have some fallout. We have some fallout. And it's stuck. That's great. Make sure you knock off the fallout on your brush. I forgot. That, that's on me. This brush also isn't the best for um, product. It's from Hard Candy. And the only reason I'm using it is because it's the only brush of this shape that I have that's clean. Um... But there's a reason for that. Because it doesn't apply product, it smears product. And I don't love that, so. Luckily, I'm not using it for very long because I can't get behind that brush. I need to go through my brushes and declutter my brushes. That is, like, something that has to happen relatively soon because I'm going absolutely crazy. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to take pirate's chest which is this one right here it's a little bit warmer than bones this is bones that's pirate's chest and i'm going to use that to blend it out i don't want my eye look being too cool obviously it's green but i don't want it to be too cool i'm going to use that to blend out menace on the lower lash line and we're just going to go back and forth until I like it. Now I did put Menace there. That way the outer edge had some sharper definition than the rest. So I'm not going to blend to where it's like invisible or anything. Um, just so there's, you know, nice blend. It's not super sharp. I'm going to blend like that. Pirate's Chest is another one of my favorite colors in the Laurel palette. It's just so good. So good. I love that palette so much. The shade Matte, which is this one right here. I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to take the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Teaspoon. It's this green here. I'm going to take the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Now, let's highlight our inner corner using, hmm, you Shiver Me, which is that one right there. Looks gorgeous. And I'm really excited to use it again. I've used this shade before, but I haven't used it in a hot minute. And we're just gonna pop that. I'm going to set my face using this. I've never used this product before. This is the Jar Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. I actually got this from a friend of mine. She didn't want it anymore. So she's used it a little bit. But it's pretty full in this little travel size. So it's peach. So I don't know if it's peach scented or what. I don't even know if Jar Cosmetics is still around. I haven't heard anybody talk about them in a really long time. It used to be like all the rage with their liquid lipsticks. Do you guys know if Drug Cosmetics is still a thing? Like, I wanna know. I guess I'll find out when I'm filming or editing and linking products, so. I don't know, let's give it a shot. Oh, it smells good, it does smell like peaches, but it's not an overly strong scent of peach. I just got the pump going. Okay, so 
So it is peach scented. It's not overly peach, like I said. Like it's you definitely you just like a little hint of peach, which I really do appreciate because it's not like super intense. Um looks pretty. I do have some smudging from mascara which has nothing to do with the setting spray that mascara is like almost empty that's why i decided to use it today for lips i'm going to use the milani true color statement lip liner in the shade all natural number four this is like one of my most used lip liners as you can tell it's like almost gone I'm gonna take this. This is one of my favorite products ever, and I know you guys know that, and you're probably like, girl, stop, but I can't. This is the Sephora Clean Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pine. I love these. Sephora did send the entire collection to me, and I love them. That is everything for Imagine, and that is the last music and makeup for Thank You Next. I know it took me a really long time to get through this, but I really appreciate your guys' patience. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the little music and makeup series. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope we reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. Hit my notification bell so you get notified of my next music and makeup series. And give us a big thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video.